Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Iloho and this is my Who is Iloho getting to know me introductory video. Thank you to everyone who submitted questions via Snapchat, via Instagram. You guys, I'm going to be answering your questions on here. I have my list of questions here and I'm just going to randomly select a question and answer the questions. Okay. Boop. How tall are you? I'm 5'10 and a half. If you look at me at first glance, like you would think, oh, she's six foot tall because I have really long legs, but I'm 5'10 and a half. Maybe without my wigs, I might be 5'10. What is your favorite TV show? I'm a little weird when it comes to TV, so I don't really watch TV. Like I do like Real Housewives of Atlanta, but I don't really like the shows that everybody's like really like addicted to. You guys, don't laugh at me. And if this is your favorite TV show, then we're here. The goal Golden Girls. Every single episode of The Golden Girls, I have watched it at least twice. What's your go-to drink at the bar? Um, my go-to drink, I have two go-to drinks that <laughs> I usually like drink the same thing everywhere I go. Sex on a beach. And it just has like the most vulgar name. You go up to the bar, you're like, can I have a sex on the beach? The bartender's like, oh, really now? I'm like, oh, yeah, just give me a sex on the beach. Pineapple, pineapple cranberry, um, vodka, and some other stuff mixed, but it's really good. Have you ever broken any bones? I never broke any bones growing up. Never broke any bones by my own, <laughs> by my own doing. I, I did get this finger fractured, like someone actually shattered um, the bone in my pointer finger and that's going to be a story time video because girl she tried it but yes this bone was completely shattered fractured into a million pieces according to the doctor have you ever been in love oh of course i've been in freaking love like i'm a pisces like we can't help it we, we just love love like we we are in love with love itself like <sighs> Do you have siblings? I actually have three sisters, two older sisters and one younger sister. Um, so I'm like kind of middle child, kind of not, but I was the youngest child for 10 years before my mom had my little sister, Pookie. So I do have youngest child syndrome, like that kind of bratty syndrome. I do have, I have it bad, I have it bad. What is your family nickname? I have a few nicknames that my family calls me, but the main one, the one that's been with me from childhood to now, like my sisters will walk in right now, hey, and they still call me by that nickname, is Babela. 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 And anytime Baby Love would come on, my mom would hold me and sing that song, my baby love, my baby love. So my sister is trying to mimic my mom and mimic the song. They would call me Baby Love. Like, Baby Love, Baby Love. Isn't that so cute? Like, <laughs> when is your birthday? Um, so my birthday is March 11th. 1992, 90s babies, 92 babies, where you at though? Who's your celebrity crush? I gotta fix my hair when I talk about this one. You never know, he might be watching this. Kevin McCall. Kevin McCall, McCall Kevin. Kevin McCall. J. Cole, I love J. Cole. I have a little crush, like a little crush on Mac Wilds. Like, I don't know, like he's really cute. He's really, really, really cute. Like his smile, like Mac Wilds' smile, it's just like captivating. Like it's just like, bling. What is your favorite food? Honestly, I dislike this question with a passion because I am a foodie. Skinny girls eat. Like Africans, we we have a stomach of steel. Like we don't really get sick like that. If y'all if y'all know any Africans, ask them when was the last time they got sick. We don't get sick like that. Like God made Africans to have strong stomachs, but I don't really get sick off of food. So I like to experiment with foods and try different things. Um, of course, I eat Nigerian food. So I absolutely love when my mom cooks Ogbono soup. Like, oh my God, like jello rice. So I love Nigerian food, Caribbean food, Spanish food, Thai food, Japanese. Like I love food. Like I can't, I really can't say what's my favorite food, but I can say what is my favorite dessert or favorite snack. Applesauce, applesauce, applesauce. If you know me, you know I love applesauce. What is your favorite color? Okay, so my favorite color is black. Power to the people. If I can have it, please give it to me in black. Thank you. How did you get into makeup? 
something that I've always been around um, working in the fashion modeling industry being a runway model I've always been around makeup because that's a part of the fashion industry so model I would always get my makeup done by professional makeup artists and I was just always intrigued by just the whole process of makeup the colors look and just the whole like artistic aspect of being a makeup artist always intrigued me it was always something that I loved but I never saw myself doing it until I found myself doing it as a black model a lot of times you have makeup artists that are not familiar or comfortable or knowledgeable with doing darker skin tones so a lot of times I technically had to do my own makeup because the makeup artist clearly did not know how to do my makeup but that said a lot about mainstream fashion that makeup artists didn't know how to do makeup on darker skin women which means that there are not a lot of darker skin women being represented in the fashion industry because if there was then everyone would be equipped everyone would know how to do every type of model makeup because they're familiar with those skin tones you know what I mean and as a model of color at the time I just felt like okay like nah y'all need to know how to do black girls makeup first of all you need to hire black models and hire makeup artists that, that know how to do black skin like point blank period my best friend Talana has a great hand in that like Talana was actually the girl that was like into makeup and dressing up and I was kind of like uh, I'm just a model like make me up dress me up but hanging around Talana like she was like no you need to learn how to do this yourself like so when they don't know how to do it you can do it my sister will always tell me and people would always tell me like yo you should be a makeup artist you should be a makeup artist and I'm like uh-uh like I'm not carrying all of that makeup one and two I'm not gonna be responsible for messing up nobody's face like no this is something that I like this is something that I'm passionate about like I love to make women look and feel beautiful I love to make myself look and feel beautiful so why not share that with the world why not educate myself first learn all that I all that I can first and then share that with the world dove deep into YouTube and at that time there were like a handful of <laughs> dark skin makeup artists on YouTube there I was learning from Jocelyn Hill I was learning from crispy I was learning from a few like white girls that just would be in their face but I would just apply it to my skin tone and apply it to like my eye shade things of that nature when I tell you I practice day in and day out I practice day in and day out and I literally had like 99 cent store makeup like I did not have the kit that I have by far you know like the sponge you know like dang it's like a little like sponge and a little brush but it's it's connected like that's what I was using for makeup friend Vicky. Vicky actually got me my very first professional set of brushes and I was just so grateful because I was not really using brushes. Like, literally, I've come a long way. Literally, I think I'm going to do a little, um, I, I wanted to learn how to do makeup on everyone, like every skin tone, every face shape. I wanted to learn more. I got decent and comfortable enough doing makeup on other people. I then went into Sephora and applied to Sephora and I got a job at Sephora. But like Sephora literally threw me into the mist and taught me and molded me even more. So I'm really appreciative of that. And that's pretty much how I got into makeup. Where do you live slash where are you from? My roots, my legacy, my ancestors is Nigeria. My parents were both born in Nigeria. They happened to move to America and they had their children here. Um, so I was born on American soil, um, Brooklyn native, been born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Um, but I'm from Africa. Like we're all from Africa. What do you mean where you from? I had all the toys that I wanted. I had my sisters that I could play with. Like my sisters were always fighting over me. Like, no, she's my friend. Oh, she's my friend. Oh, she's so I'm just like in the middle like, ah, leave me alone. I want my applesauce. I'm always raised her daughters. Like she always encouraged us and motivated us and told us that we were beautiful and that we were princesses, we were royalty, we're beautiful, we're beautiful. But it was like outside of my home, it was just like a freaking whole nother freaking story. The kids in school called me ugly. Oh my God, you're so ugly. You're so tall. You're so skinny. You ain't got no hair. You nappy headed. You black. Like African booty scratcher was my middle name. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I got teased so bad in school. Like my parents, like they got us whatever we wanted, but we didn't want the latest Jordans. Like to us, Jordans wasn't happiness. Like to us, like Timberland boots wasn't happiness. Like our toys were happiness. Our coloring books were happiness. You know what I mean? Like visiting our uncles and our families, like that was happiness to us. But to everyone else, it was like, nah, like you ain't fly, you ain't fresh. Like, no, like, nah. I was a real sensitive child. Like, if you said my name wrong, I would cry. 
if you say you're mad tall, I would cry. Like, the things that you think, like, okay, like, e, that's not something you really cry about. Like, I would cry. I was really good academically. Like, I just love my academics. Um, I love reading. I love coloring. Like, I love school so much. I just hated my classmates. And all the boys, like, they didn't notice me for being cute or pretty. Like, they noticed me, oh, you're tall, like, come be on my team. That was, like, my whole tomboy phase. But they didn't know, like, yeah, she's tall, but she can't ball. Like, <laughs> so everyone thought I was going to be a track star. Like, I love to run. I love to run, 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 run. Like, African warrior princess, like, run, like, run, run, run. What is your favorite movie? I can, I, can I say four? Oh, Juice. Tupac. Got the juice now. Selena. Like... How you kill Selena? Like, no! And then Titanic, Leonardo DiCaprio, duh. What do you fear? This might sound bad, but I'm really not an animal person. And by that, I mean, like, I don't I don't like animals. Like, yeah, I said it, I don't like animals. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. Like, I'm not an animal person. Like, I, I could do a cute cat. I could do a cute puppy, a cute dog, a pretty dog. Like, I could do that. But anything on all fours, anything that flies, crawls, bites, like, butterflies, not really my thing. It, brrr, no, like, huge fear of rats. Afraid of rabbits. And I know you're like, how are you afraid of rabbits? Because they look like rabbits. They look like demons. Like, I don't know. I don't like rabbits. People got ferrets. When I found out you could have a ferret as a pet, I was like, ah! When I was growing up, I was not afraid of animals. My sisters were afraid of animals. And then I became afraid of the animals. Like, they'd be like, baby, look, go pick that up. Go get that, go get that. And I would just go pick it up and bring it to them. They start screaming and running. So now I'm like, what? Like, what is it that you made me pick up? Like, ah, drop it. Now I'm afraid of it too. So, yeah. Do you have any tattoos or piercings? I'd rather pierce and tat. So right now I actually only have like my ears pierced and my belly button pierced. I had snake eyes. It's a tongue piercing that goes like through the tip of your tongue. It really went with my style at the time. Like my style was a little bit more grunge. Like first of all, the ball was scraping the front of my teeth, girl bye. The ball kept coming out. I think I swallowed one one time, like girl bye, no. I do have one tattoo, but, like you can't see it. So I just tell people no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite song slash artist? Love music, so I can't pick a favorite song. Like, I can't. I, I tried and I tried and I can't. <laughs> Loving Solange's album, A Seat at the Table. Like, girl! I love every song off of that album, actually. <laughs> um, the one that I play the most is Junie. Jump on it. I love that song. What is a quality that you look for in a partner? Great sense of humor. I'd be able to tame me down a little bit, like calm me down, bring me back to reality sometimes. And I just want to bring you into my world. Like, come on, like intellectual. And you have to have knowledge of self. Knowledge of self, honey. Are you financially stable or working towards being financially stable? You know, a relationship with his mom and with his family, that's very important to me because I want to have a family. Are you a man who loves children? I love children and I want to raise children. Someone who's ambitious, like somebody who smells good. Like I love cologne, like uh, clean cut, button up, smelling good. I love that. Beer gang, your weave or wig? Wig favorite quote. My favorite quote is a quote that was made famous by Nelson Mandela, um, but it was actually written by a woman named Miriam Williamson. And that quote is our deepest fear. Thank you guys for taking out the time to get to know me. Until next time, I am Iloho. Please. I was just a straight... Ah! What's it about? Ah! Oh, hell no! First of all, you know how a hair feels when it gets in your eye? Imagine a hair in your eye with contact. Yo, it just like, like, bam, you in the eyeball, man! Touching the line and all that good knots. Yum, yum.